I am making this video to show you how to target the right audience on Instagram ads. Okay, so if you have been confused on how to target the right audience on Instagram adverts, then this video is going to guide you on the right step to take so that you don't waste money on advert and get no results. So this video is going to show you exactly what to do. If you don't have any idea on who the right target audience is, in this video, I'm going to show you the simple things you need to do within the ads manager to discover some audiences that you can target for your products or your services. So we're going to be giving, we're going to be using some examples, some products examples. So if your business falls under the example we're going to be using, then you are in luck. Okay. So uh, without wasting time, let's go to the ads manager. Now we are here in the ads manager where i am going to show you exactly what you need to do yeah so you come to the ads manager here you click on create and um, let's take for instance you want to make sales you want to sell okay you use the sales objective you want to sell to your instagram right so you're sending people to your instagram dm you use the sales objective here and you and then you no know, so you use the sales objective and you click on continue here Okay, you click on continue and then we continue here with manual. This is manual sales campaign. So we're not going to use the, uh, we're not going to use this ad advantage shopping campaign. We're going to be using the manual sales campaign here. It says creates a sales campaign from scratch using the standard setup. So we click on it and then you click on continue. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. All right. Give me a thumbs up. Like this video so that more people on YouTube will get to see my video. If you're new to my channel and you like to see more of content about Facebook adverts and how to grow your business, uh, you may consider subscribing to my channel and also hit th that notification bell so you get to be among the first people to be notified whenever I publish videos of this nature. So, guys, let's continue. So, make sure you name your campaign, please. Okay. Name is here. So we can give this one example ad campaign okay as an example ad campaign so this is your campaign level here remember that our objective is sales and we are selling through instagram so we are not going to touch anything here nothing we are not touching anything here we simply come to the ad set level as you can see on the top left here come to the ad set level or you simply click on next at the bottom right at the bottom right next or you simply come here click on next so we come we come to the ad set level you name your ad set example ad set so you can name your, name your ad set with the product or services that you are promoting or you're trying to sell okay so yeah so once you have named our ad set you come down here to this conversion blah 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 whatever messenger of course we're, we're selecting message messaging app so we drive sales and, conver and conversions through either Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Okay? So we're using the messaging, messaging app. So we don't need a pixel for that. Okay? So you select the Facebook page where you want to make, where you want to do the whatever, where you want the advert to go to. And then you select your Instagram. Okay? I will uncheck Messenger because I want to send this stuff to Instagram. Right? Uh... If you're using WhatsApp, you connect your WhatsApp phone number, WhatsApp business phone number, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. So what we are maximizing for, what we are, our performance goal is we want to maximize for number of conversations because we are sending to Instagram DM. So we are going to start conversation with people. So you optimize for the, to maximize the number of conversations you are getting. All right. This, your asset may get zero results. Ignore it. It's going to go off on its own. It does not stop your advert. So here you impute your ad budget. So for instance, we are doing 5,000 Naira per day as an example, which could be $10 per day. It could be $15 per day. It could be $5 per day, depending on what you can afford. Yeah. So we come down to uh, audience targeting here. So location, click on location. You select your location. So this is in Nigeria. Let's take, for instance, I want to target only those in Lagos. So I select Lagos here. I select Lagos. So my advert is going to be targeted to those within 25 
mile radius of Lagos. You can also reduce the mile radius if you want to. Okay? But I've, leave, I've left it at 25 mile radius. So let's just go to the important thing, which is the interest. Which is the interest towards targeting. So since you cannot see it here, Facebook have automatically selected advantage audience. We don't want it. So we are going to switch to original audience options. Here, click on this switch to original audience options. I use original, I switch to it. So once I switch to original audience options, I'm going to come down here. And I can see different audience options here. So I can select the age. So you select the age group of your ideal target audience. You can easily find this one on your Instagram uh, insights where you can see the best performing age group. Okay, so it could be within 25 to probably 45. I'm just giving an example. I don't know about the age group of your ideal audience who are engaging with your post the most. Okay, so you come here, you select the gender. If it is male, you select men. If it is women, you select women. So select the gender and then this is the interest targeting. This is interest targeting. This is where people are confused. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you're enjoying it, please give me a thumbs up, right? Like the video. That's all I'm asking of you. So this is interest targeting. Now let's take, for instance, you're selling stuff like cake. You're selling cakes. All right? So you simply come here. When you type cake here, when you type cake, you're going to see cake. All right? These are employers. So this is employer. You always look at the right, right side here to be sure that what you are selecting is interest, not employer, not job title, not industry. So this is employer. That, that, that's not what we want. So this is cake, baked goods. This is interest. Okay? So if you look, put at the employer, you will see the number here, the number of estimated, the size is small for employer. But for here, for the baked goods, which is the normal cake that we eat, the size, audience size is over 300 million. So you select cake. Now that you have selected cake, you will allow Facebook to do the magic. By what? By simply clicking here. Click these suggestions. Click this suggestion button here. It will show you suggestions of interests that are closer or similar or in the same range with cakes so you click on suggestion here and you're going to see desserts is cake a dessert yes or no yes dessert is it an interest yes it's an interest you select desserts people who are interested in cake of course they want dessert right it's a dessert so is it pastry is it chocolate cake is it cupcake is it cheesecake chocolate brownies do you understand so you are now beginning to see different suggestions by Facebook for the same cake. -o. So you can see them here. You just scroll down. So when you click on this stuff here, okay, when you click on it, it shows you different interests. Cake decorating, cake, chocolate brownie, cheesecake, cookie, cupcake, pastry, chocolate cake when you click on chocolate cake here it will also automatically populate that suggestion box again with different other um cake related interest interest that people who are interested in cake are also interested in so when we click on this suggestion box again you will now see chocolate brownie birthday cake do you get me so people who are interested people who are having birthdays they might want to have a birthday cake, isn't it? Isn't it? Once you select birthday cake, it will also automatically populate the suggestion box with new interests that are related or similar to birthday cakes. So let's hit suggestion and see. You can see now, birthday, wedding cake, okay, upcoming birthday, here, upcoming birthday, demographics, 
So this is birthday. So people who are people who are who have upcoming birthdays, if you select this upcoming birthday, people who have upcoming birthdays can see your cake and decide to buy cake for their birthday. So these are the these are the simple ways that you can discover different interests that are similar or related to the product or service that you render. Okay, so we have used cake. Let's uh, take off cake now and use another business. Okay, let's use another business. So um, let's take, for instance, uh, someone who's selling cars. We put cars there. Cars, you can see the first one is employers. Second one is field of study. So we need cars as interest as interest sounds cars.com vehicle this is a website where people go and check out cars okay so we need cars as interest cars is a theme this is a theme cars is a theme this is volvo blah 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 so if you are not seeing the interest you can just remove the s so you can see car dealership here car dealership so people who are interested in car dealership so it's retailer here interest it has over 800 million interests this is for used cars if you want to sell a used car okay <laughs> electric car sports car so if you click on car dealership for instance and then you click on suggestions you're going to start seeing different cars you see automobile so very good that's interest that's for cars so if you don't see cars, you see automobile, you see SUVs, you see used cars, you see vehicle, transportation, you see sedan, you see automobile, automotive industry. So you see luxury cars, you see family cars. So this will give you an idea of the different kind of interests that are related, that are closely related to what you want. It is easier for you in that way to select multiple interests. Okay, let's try another business. Let's take, for instance, you sell fashion items. So we say fashion here. So we look for fashion. This is fashion accessories. Okay, it's an interest. Remember, this first one is fashion editor. It's a job title, not an interest. It's always little. This one is fashion magazine. It's always little. Employers, fashion over employers, little little size. The size is little, as you can see at the top here, ten thousand plus. Fashion accessories. The size is over nine hundred million. So once you click on fashion accessories, you can see fashion accessories, uh, fashion, sound is banned, fashion and makeup publication, fashion week, fashion and style, fashion blog, okay, street fashion, apparel. So it's under apparel. So you can click on apparel. You can search for apparel here and see if you find anything on apparel. American apparel is an interest, 30 million size. Okay. Bonobos interest apparel. Okay. So let's see fashion accessories. We see fashion accessories. Yeah, we select it. Okay. And then the next thing we do is we click on suggestions. It is now showing us different stuff, different interests that are in the fashion space. You can see clothing here. <laughs> clothing. Okay, you see jewelry, engaged shoppers. This because there are people who fashion is 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 a business that people are always engage in shopping. So if you select these engaged shoppers, your advert is going to be shown to people who are mostly going to be engaged in shopping your fashion items. So this is shopping, handbags, luxury goods, dresses. Okay, clothing. We select clothing here. So once you select clothing, you can see dresses select dresses for instance if you sell dresses okay then once you select suggestion again it will populate new ones party dress if you want to sell party dress if you want to sell skirts if you want to target people who who are boutique owners you can see boutique here retailers it is simple it is simple. Don't go and rack your head thinking of how do I look for the best interest. How do I? No, follow this simple process, and you will and you will discover some hidden interest. These things are hidden in plain sight. 
There is no magic there. They are all hidden in plain sight. They are all hidden in plain sight. Okay? They are hidden in plain sight. If you sell stuff like perfumes, this is perfume, employer. This is perfume. This is one drop perfume. So perfume is under cosmetics. So you can simply go to, you can try cologne. If there's anything like that, See, this is cologne. It's a place. It's a place, not a perfume. So you leave it. Always pay attention. So you can have cosmetics. Cosmetics, personal care. So once you select cosmetics and you come under suggestions here, you see skincare. <laughs> you see skincare, beauty, beauty salon, natural skincare, facials, spas, anti aging cream. So, this, I believe, with these few points, please make sure you like this video and share it. Share this video with business owners. Share this video with as many people you know you find it helpful. All right. So, I believe with these few points, you've been able to know and discover that. Finding the best interest that fits into your service or your product is not difficult. It's not rocket science. Simply have a base, a base. For instance, if you sell phones, if you sell phones, okay, simply type phones here, like smartphone. Smartphone, consumer electronics. Simply start type smartphones here, okay? Then come to the suggestion box, click on suggestions. It will now start giving you different interests like mobile phones, mobile devices, iPhone, iOS, Android, Samsung. So you can see them, all of them are on, all of them are interest, interest, interest on the, on the right side. So they are interests. If you click on iPhone, for instance, if you click on iPhone, for instance, okay, and you come out and click on suggestions again, it will change. You can now see App Store, iOS operating system. You click on iOS, and now see so different different it will give you related interests this makes it easier for you to ensure that you are targeting the people who are mostly or most likely going to buy from you if you have any questions i am here i am i'm happy and willing to answer your questions okay so it's simple don't rack your head looking for interest from nowhere Everything is within the Facebook platform. Use this tool to grow your business. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer you. All right. Thanks for watching. My name is Courage. Comment your... Um, if you like this video, please comment. Make sure you share this video with as many people you know will find it helpful. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, guys.